Um, goodbye, Graceful Solo. I just kind of wanted to do something really nuts, and I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of long arpeggio passages because I think they, I think they sound really beautiful. Honestly, like a lot, a lot of people don't think think it's like distasteful to do like a lot of arpeggios like one after the other and stuff. But I actually think it's kind of pretty sounding. I don't know. I just dig it. So I wanted to do something that was, it, it just has that minor kind of drop C root note going on in the background. So I used that as a pedal point. And then the arpeggios on top of that, it's almost like I kind of created a chord progression out of the arpeggios on top of that C pedal point. So if you listen closely, the back and the stand on the same root note and then the guitar um, it is kind of creating its own progression and its own melody on top of that. And then uh, Elvis, the producer, came in and put some keys following my new progression over the top. And then that was a good by Graceful solo. And I, re I like that one too. It kind of, it, I, I like to write solos that make me feel like I'm driving a Ferrari really fast and there's palm trees and stuff. <laughs> That's what I think of in my head. Okay, so for Goodbye Graceful, the first part of the solo, we're going to be doing some picking stuff, uh, starting on the D string, and this is what it sounds like solo. Just take note of my right hand. Like, like always, when, I, when I'm picking up to the next string, so say if I'm going from the G string to the D string, I'm gonna pick up. And if I'm gonna go down from the D string to the G string, I'm gonna pick, pick down. So if you look closely, so that's, what, that's what my right hand's doing. All right, so here's how it sounds up to speed. Alright, so for the next section, we're going to play a minor arpeggio free string and then go into a major one. Uh, so play so it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 
So when I get to the G string there, I'm going to pick twice. So if you watch my right hand, I'm going to pick up and then back down again on the G string. Then we're going to do a full, full bend on the uh, 20th fret. You're going to want to do a little half bend on the the uh, 17th fret. Okay, then we're going to play. which leads us to the next section where we're going to start picking again. So here's how that section sounds up to speed. Okay, so after that we're going to go into another uh, run and played so it's going to sound like this. Here's what it sounds like up to speed. Alright, so I got into the next part. I do a dive bomb. I can't remember the exact dive bomb that I did on the album, but what I do live, I normally hit on the G string, second fret, just a harmonic on it. That leads me into the um, arpeggio part. Okay, so the arpeggio part, <clears throat> gonna start uh, on a C minor arpeggio, one of the five string shapes that we went over before. And we're gonna play that four times. So it sounds like up to speed. So then we're going to jump down to the uh, 12th fret A string and we're going to play a minor 7 arpeggio. But it's going to be a mixture of um, 5 string and 3 string sweeps. So I play slow, that sounds like this.
so up to speed. Okay, so when we land back on the 12th for A string, we're going to jump to a different minor shape arpeggio that we went over earlier also. We're just going to sound like this, slow. Okay, then we're going to go into the tapping section, and just like the Drug and Muse U solo, we're going to tap on the 22nd and 20th fret. And this part's really similar to that solo, kind of by accident, but whatever. So here's, here's what it sounds like, so. Okay, then we're going to jump, jump diatonically down and play a three string major shape to start from the 12th fret G string, which is going to be this shape. But we're going to start it from the, the tapping note, so it's going to be... Then we, after that, we're going to go down to another to another major shape, just diatonically down. So we're going to jump from the 12th fret down to the 10th fret and play the same shape. So all together, that part played slow sounds like this. Okay, so now that part played up to speed. Then finally, we're just going to end it back on the C minor arpeggio. So here's what it sounds like slow. Okay, so the whole solo played up to speed. <laughs>